Hi, and welcome to the Deployment Guide, which is a series of short videos for people just starting out in the world of Intune, Config Manager, and all things OSD. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I deploy Office 365 in Intune. There are a couple of ways of doing this, but I tend to wrap the installer and the config XML files into a Win32 app. The reason I do this is because I usually want to install Office during the ESP, but if I have mixed results in the past when I have mixed install types, and the ESP tends to time out and fail. Because of this, I have a rule where I only use Win32 apps in my ESP. So, on the test machine, the first thing I want to do is go to the root of the C drive. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this Office. Next thing I'm going to do is go and download the Office deployment tool. I'll open this. I'm going to copy it from the downloads folder to the folder I just created. I'm going to paste this in here. Next thing I'm going to run the tool. I'll accept this. I'll continue. I'm going to browse to the Office folder I just created. Click OK on that. It's extracted the files that I need. Now I need the setup exe, but I don't need the XML files, so I'm going to delete those. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go to the Office Customization Tool website, which will be in the description below. I'm going to select 64 bit Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise. Visio and project, if you need these, add them in. If you don't, just select none. Additional products, you can put a language pack here if you need one. In this instance, I don't, so I'm going to select none. Current channel, uh, I'm going to leave it as current channel, but you can change it if you want to, to a different one. You can install a previous version of Office, but I'm just going to use the latest one that's available. the apps I'm going to turn off OneDrive desktop and also Teams I prefer to push these out separately especially Teams where I do a machine-wide installer select next now the language for me is going to be English United Kingdom because that's where I'm based select next on that for this we're going to leave the defaults and select next Now, if you want to uninstall Visio or Project from a previous install, you can do by ticking these. I'm just going to select Next, leave the defaults. Now, we're going to accept the EULA. And the activation type I'm going to use is going to be a shared computer because this device will potentially be on a factory floor or a classroom and will be shared between multiple users. So, we're going to select Next on that. Give your organization a name, so I'm going to put the deployment guy. Select next. You can change any of these options. I tend to leave them default. Select finish. And now we're going to export that XML file. We're going to choose Office Open XML Formats. Click OK. I'm going to accept that and I'm going to change the name to install. Export that. Now, I need to get this from my downloads folder and I'm going to copy this to the office folder that I created earlier on. I can also delete this, I don't need it anymore. So we've got a config file for install, but we also need an uninstaller. So we're going to open Notepad. I'm going to paste the text in here, which I'll put in the description below. This basically just says it's going to accept the EULA of the XA, force the shutdown of the applications of the running, and then it's basically going to remove Office Pro Plus Retail. So we're going to save that into the Office folder, and we're going to call this uninstall dot XML. And we're going to save that there. 
Okay, so to wrap these files into a Win32 app, I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to create a new folder in the root of the C drive, which I'm going to call Win32 underscore packaging. In here, I'm going to create three new folders. The first one's with a tool. This is where I'm going to actually download the Win32 utility. The next is going to be the source folder. This is where I'm going to put the install files. And the next is going to be an output folder. This is where the Win32 file will eventually go. So the next thing I need to do is I'm going to copy these files from the Office folder. And I'm going to place them in the source folder. So the next thing we need to do is download the Win32 utility app, which we're going to get from GitHub. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Go here, we're going to select the version and source code zip. I'm going to download this to your download folder, which I've already done. Then we're going to extract all this and we're going to extract it to the tools folder I've just created. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to run a command prompt as administrator. Then we'll change the directory to the tools folder that we just created previously. Next, we need to run the tool. Type it in tune win up util.exe. The source folder is going to be where we've put the office install files, which is going to be the source folder here. I'm just going to copy and paste that into the command prompt. The setup file is going to be setup.exe. The output folder is going to be the output folder we created previously. So I'm just going to copy and paste that into the command prompt. Do you want to specify a catalog folder? We're going to select no for this. It's then going to create the Win32 app. And if we look in the output folder, we can see setup.intune.win. So to deploy this, we're going to go to the Intune portal, select Windows. Add the app type is going to be Windows app Win32. Select. Next, we're going to select the app package file. I'm going to browse to the output folder that we created previously and select the office.intune win file. Select OK. We'll change the name. Call it something like Office 365. Next, change the description. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Office 365 Win32. OK on that. The publisher, obviously, we'll put Microsoft. I'm just going to paste the app version in that we're using. And if you're going to advertise it in the company portal, you can put a logo if you want, but I'm not going to in this instance. Next, we're going to put the install command in, which in this instance is going to be install, uh, sorry, setup.exe slash configure install.xml the only install command is going to be very similar it's going to be setup.exe slash configure uninstall.xml you can leave the rest as defaults and select next the architecture is going to be 64 bit the minimum operating system whatever you want to put I'm going to put 2004 leave the rest I'm going to select next on the rules format, we're going to base this on a registry key and a version. So we're going to run type is going to be registry and the key path and the value name. Now we need to open the registry. Uh, Office is already installed on this machine, so I can get those reg keys. I will put these in the description below. So that's the version there, but that's the key we're going to use on the version. Next, I'm going to paste the path into the field and the value name.
display a version. Now detection method, we're going to use version comparison. The operator is going to be greater than or equal to. And the value is going to be the value that I showed you earlier in the registry, which I will just paste in now. And then select OK. And select Next. Next again. Next again. And we're going to assign this to the student and staff laptops. Select these. Press Next. And create. So back on another machine. If we look at the post notification, as you can see, it's installed successfully. And in the start menu, you can also see all the apps like Access, Excel, and all the rest of them. This has been the Deployment Guy. Thanks for watching, and if you found the contents of this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below.